What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> what is up MFers? Hope you guys are having an amazing freaking day. I'm having uh, I'm having an okay day. I didn't lose a camera or anything yet today. Um, as you know, me and Josh uh, are out. I guess we're just jumping on ice. We, we actually made it to a new lake, like that Josh has fished before. I have never fished before, but we have very limited experience. As you can tell, it's like a foggy abyss. There, there's a lake out there somewhere. We're doing this crazy thing that they call ice fishing. The goal today is to hopefully catch a new species. We absolutely whacked the wall heads last night, so hopefully you guys like that. It was our first ice video of the year. Even though I lost my $4,000 camera, we, uh, <laughs> we were able to catch a whole bunch of walleye, even though they weren't big. Um, they were delicious, so we're excited about that. So now we're going to break down this body of water. There's giant perch, there's giant walleye, there's even giant small jaws in here. So we're gonna be targeting some different types of fish and we're gonna be straight up breaking down a brand new body of water that uh, we only know like one spot maybe on the lake. So come with us, we're gonna go out here, hopefully teach you a couple things about ice fishing, maybe fall through the ice and just entertain you that way. Maybe eat a damn small mouth or a large mouth or a freaking Musky, I don't know. We're gonna eat some stuff and we're gonna catch fish. Dad, hopefully Dad, there's no large mouth. We're not gonna eat a large <laughs> mouth. Maybe okay. Let's see you on the water. Dude, we got it all We got freaking heater. We got sled. We got water. We got eggs. We got sausage. We got cheese We got fish in there. We got wild turkey. We got a couple beers. We got power generation station We got freaking ice fishing gear fish finder minnows. I don't know toiletries cups plates What's down there? Ramen? We got ramen. We got propane. Well, shit, I didn't realize we could have just taken the truck out here. That appears to be safe ice, but. Maybe. All right, f these. I'm going to explore a little bit, my man, and then we can set it up. We know there's fish here that are don't want to bite. Let's see if there's fish that will bite somewhere. What? Have my camera. I'm calling right now. She said he's back. It's her husband that has it. He's. She said he's back there fishing today, and he has it with him. No way. No way. Dude, that's incredible. There we go. Got one. Oh yeah, bud! Smalley! Yes, son! Dude, get your ass out here! Hell yes! That is so sick. This is my first ever smallmouth through the ice. Josh, get out here! Hell yes. So freaking sick. That's a nice one too. Joshua wants to do a catch and cook with the old small jaw, so we're gonna hold on to him for just a second. Oh my god guys i'm so jacked right now first fish of the day is my first ever smallmouth through the ice and i got a bunch more on the screen we're out here like literally it looks like we're in the middle of nowhere but there's this hump on the map <coughs> and i just got out here and i put the transducer down and there's fish there already i dropped my bait down and first dropped down one one bit it didn't get him and then dropped down again and caught that smallmouth and it looks like there's a bunch more on the screen <laughs> This is sick. We might have found the spot. There we go. Another one. Yeah, bud. This is the best thing ever. Best thing ever. Another one. Yeah. Dude, so sick. Two smallmouth through the ice. This one's definitely not a big guy by any means, but hey, I'm totally stoked right now. It was kind of looking bleak there for a moment. We kept having followers at the last spot where Josh is at right now, and they weren't eating it, but. Now we're connecting. They're very, very active right here. I need to get back down as quick as I possibly can. There we go, another one, another one. Hooked up. What do we got here? A little small jaw. I got a baby. Not big, but you guys, if you watch my open water videos, know I love to catch these dudes. <coughs> get him back in there. This is incredible. This spot is so fire. I gotta get back down there. Just using my little jigging spoon with a wax worm on the end of it. Nothing crazy. It's about 22 feet, 23 feet deep, right on the side of a hump. Josh is bringing the hut because, uh, yeah, there's fish here. Another one. 
Dude, they're like loaded. Another small G. That one's pretty good size. Dude, it is badass. Sick. Gonna be a delicious meal. Not this guy, but uh, our other one for sure. Because the battery's low. Nice. Yep. I think that one had it for a freaking while. There is some four pounders in here, and I think there's maybe five. Uh, that's a better one. Is it? Oh. It looked good. Damn it. It was like that one. Oh well, I can't complain, man. Oh my god, dude, they're just like waiting down there. That a babe. Get him, Josh. Oh god, we are on him. Drop the poles. We got the small jaws. You got a walleye? Sick. Dude, nice. Eater walleye out of nowhere. Sweet. I might try to go out to where your depth is. You still got some? Oh yeah, there's fish here. Before I even put the transducer down, I should like put my wax worm on, because otherwise I'm just like trying to put a wax worm on with a cold hand and a little hook, and I'm just like, oh, there's fish there! I can't get it on the hook! There we go. Yeah, bud. No. Yes. They're all good, though. See you, bud. All right, guys, hopefully you can see this on the map at all, but let me show you guys where exactly we're fishing. We kind of started over here. We wanted to fish this drop-off in the morning. This is the contour map I'm using today. Um, but yeah, we fished this drop-off, and Josh just had a bunch of small ones biting. But then I looked over here, and I saw this hump out here. And this hump comes up to 17 feet on top and it's super, super accurate. And we're just fishing right off the side and that's where all these smallmouth are. This spot is freaking loaded. But yeah, we've uh, we've never been to this lake actually. Josh has fished in open water. Uh, actually, he did ice fish it once, but I've never been to this lake and he's never fished this part of the lake. So we kind of just went to the most obvious spots ever. It was like the biggest drop off and that just yielded a little fish. And now we're at the like biggest main lake hump and clearly the smallmouth are on fire. I moved up on top of it, and they seemed active for a second, but the fish were smaller. But now that we're off the side, Josh just lost a big one. I caught the biggest one of the day, and we're actually gonna do something that uh, you've never seen before on this channel. We're gonna cook one of those smallmouth up. I know we're, we're not much of a, uh, we don't really do a lot of meat fishing, if you guys notice that, but we're gonna do something different and, and eat one of those smallmouth today because there is a giant abundance of small ones and, and really the ones we're cooking up aren't big. And uh, yeah, delicious smallmouth bass here cooked up on the ice, should be delicious. There we go, another one. God dang it! Lost a big one, dude. Man, today's been an absolute freaking blast. Um, you probably learned in the last video. I don't know where I'm even at though, but I found out that a kind soul found my super expensive camera and so had great mojo going for that. I found that out as I was walking out to this spot right here uh, to check in and see if there's actually fish here way out in the middle of nowhere. We are like in the infinite abyss and it happened to be loaded the first hole we, we've been sitting here now for a couple hours absolutely hammering them moved around a little bit but uh, we actually we're, we're keeping some of these guys right here possession limit bag limit on smallmouth is five per person and then of course josh caught a walleye so we're definitely feeling pretty damn good um, frozen poop frozen turds frozen right turds there that's disgusting <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean those up here in a little bit you're gonna have to watch the next video to see how the uh, the smallmouth compare in flavor to the walleye and such and, and we're actually going trophy hunt so we're gonna clean those up next time we have you guys back here and we're actually gonna go look and see if we can find some giant ones that are a little bit more like this guy and bigger because they are in here and we also have the opportunity for a giant walleye giant pike giant Perch everything too. perch too. Me too. Me too. And bluegill and crappie. Yeah. And yeah. So we need to move around, do some some exploring. Like I said, we're we're not fishing anywhere that anyone told us to go to. We're out here doing our own thing, searching for fish. That's what we like to do. And so far, it's paying off a little bit. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys very soon. Out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not
I'm sorry I can't stop with a love like mine 